James Elder for IFL TV in association with Macklin's Jim Marbella. We're in the Harrow Leisure Centre today. We've just witnessed an absolute barstorm or a couple of rounds at least. We've got Nathan McIntosh and also Mr McIntosh, your dad. How are you? You all right? Yeah, I'm all right, thanks. I'm all right. Well, first of all, congratulations on the win. A little bit of a maybe a shock today for the people, local people that have come out to watch George Keane, but for yourself, I suppose you always thought the fight was going to go that way. Yeah, like, I did, to, to be honest, I've been working a lot on power. I, I was hoping, this morning I was only talking to my dad, my missus, that it would be amazing to get a stoppage. I put my punches together, they landed perfectly, and I knew I hurt him. In the first round, I knew I hurt him. I knew if he kept walking onto them, them right hands, which he kept doing, eventually he was going to go. And in that second round, when I caught it, I think it was an uppercut in a straight right, and I seen him going to the ropes. I just followed through, followed through, followed through. I knew every shot was connecting. I seen the ref coming to my vision, and it gave me more drive to just, to just try and demolish this kid. I know he's a prospect, and I know he's a big ticket seller, he's a big name, and he's a wicked name to put on record. I've had, what, nine and, I'm 9 and 0 now, one stoppage, being a, like, I've fought eight, eight guys that aren't known of, they aren't known, and the first person I, I fight who's, who's known the prospect, I stop him. So I'm over the moon with that. I'm back now, I'm back with vengeance, I've been out a long time. I'm just ready to hit the world now and just. Yeah, because he was just take on these fights. It was out for at least three to four years after one of his on his was it your fifth fight? Yeah. He broke his hand in his fifth fight and that kept him out for about three years. Yeah. So now after the three years, got back on it again and I'm pushing him, I work him just as hard. And then obviously with his promoter Carl Greaves and family, Alice McIntosh, Sabrina McIntosh, Natasha McIntosh. His son, Devon McIntosh, be watching this. Nina, my missus, she's, Nina. she's a female national champion, so we're just living, I'm living box at the moment. You understand? Know like most guys, most of these boxers go home with the missus and they watch these standards. Me and my missus go out and we run and we watch boxing and we study these boxers who I'm going to be fighting. I'm just living a life, so people just need to look out for me now. Nathan McIntosh, I'm here, I'm back. Was it, was it? <laughs> I ain't done with you just yet, man. Was it a surprise for you that Georgia King's team took this fight? Because you're, you're, you're 8 0 coming into this. 8 0? 8 0 with a 1 KO coming into this. You said you've had a long layoff, but. 8 0 with no KOs. You are, eight, sorry, 8 0 yeah. no KOs. You are, uh, you are a bit of an unknown quantity and a bit of a danger, man. Sort of high risk, low reward, if you like. Yeah, you know, so, I was you surprised that he took this? You know what? I think they took it. They underestimated me a lot. There's nothing of me on YouTube, well, neither will be, Mr. Stafford and Georgia King. And my fights have not been continuous. It's always been one or two, and then I've stopped for a year. Stop and start. Some problems stop and start. in life or injury it caused me to stop. But now life's going good. I've got no worries. I'm training. I'm, I'm here to stay until, I'm, until my career is finished. So I know they took the fight thinking that I just do it for a part-time thing just to get a little bit of money on the side. And they, under, they made a big mistake tonight by bringing in an unbeaten prospect from Nottingham. We just come and upset the whole crowd. I, I mean, I was in the ring and everyone was, yeah. I just laughed it off. It came up to me, gave me all the aggression, touched gloves. I, I laughed it off and got the stoppage. So, where do you go? Where do you go from here? What, what's up next to you? If I can get out again before Christmas, I'm ready. I'm looking. I'm back here. I have a couple of days off. I'm back in the gym. I live around the corner from the gym. I'm staying in the gym now. I want to stay fit. I want to stay ready. So when these prospects like Georgia Key want to take fights from me. I'm there, I'm with it. Like, I think his last fight was a sixth rounder with, um, was it Fahim or something? And he went two rounds with him, didn't he? And he took this fight and he went two rounds himself. So now I'm just ready, man, to just make my mark in the boxing world. All right, well, listen, we look forward to seeing yeah. some news imminently. Congratulations on the win and said you certainly shot the crowd tonight. You so did, yeah. Enjoy your moment. Credit to yourself. Nice All right. Thanks a lot. Cheers. Thanks, fellas. All right.